Now that we've gotten our film outside of the canister, we need to load it into the spirals of our small tank to properly develop it. This is one style from a company called Patterson that uh, greatly simplifies the task of loading it on. As you can see, the two sides of the spiral alternate and can twist in opposite directions. As you'll see in a moment, this feeds it onto the roll. Another style involves metal spirals. A little bit more difficult to use, but a little bit more versatile as well. Again, either one works equally as well, and it's up to you to decide what you like better. Now, in this case, and again, remember, you want to do this in a completely dark environment. Any kind of light will completely damage the film. It'll fog it and erase the images that you already have on there. So again, it takes practice, but it's very easy to do once you get the hang of it. To load this, you want to cut the leader off and also a small tab on one side so that it feeds itself easier onto the spiral. Now for the first few inches of film, it doesn't matter if you touch them, as this was to load it into the camera already anyway, and it's already been exposed to the light for the first few inches as well. So go ahead and feed that into your canister, and feed that into your spiral. As you can see, as you rotate it back and forth, it draws the film off the reel. Once you've reached the end of the reel, simply snip off the remaining. and finish loading the roll onto the spiral.